What's going on guys? It's your boy Midnight Man. Welcome back to another tutorial today. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to add these little effects you can put to your streams. Like this. See how it's saying who subscribed to the channel. Or, if you're lucky enough, you get a donation alert like this and you can be jamming out. Okay. okay. <laughs> Basically cool alert effects you can add to your streams to make them more dynamic. If you guys have been following my channel for a little while, you know I've been doing live streams and I just added this effect to my streams. I didn't even realize how easy it was. So if this is something you're looking to add to your streams to make them a little bit cooler, show off people's names, it's actually very easy to do. I'll show you how to do it on the Elgato Game Capture software as well as OBS. So to get things started, the first step you want to do here is go to the website called streamlabs.com. Now, I'm not going to be focusing on the actual application itself. If you guys want me to, I can go into a video later about it and download it and show you guys all the cool things you can do with it, how to set it up. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see that. But what we're going to do is just use the website itself for these features. So all you got to do first is go to the login button over here. And you'll see this little thing come up and you're gonna sign in with either your Twitch or your YouTube. So whatever account you sign in with is what you're going to be using to display those alerts that come in for your stream. So for this example, we're gonna choose YouTube because I you know, just use my channel. All right, so I'm loading in right now. This is my dashboard, my whole account and everything for my channel. And what you're gonna wanna do is go to the alert box under widgets and now under this section is going to be where you can customize all those alerts that display so if you go down here under the under the settings you can see general settings donations you can see there's subscribers members super chats merch so you can set up all these different tabs to display alerts while you're live streaming a lot of these configurations down here are up to you but the ones i focus on the most since i live stream on youtube is the subscriber feature you can actually upload any gif you want um, that you might find on the internet and one website i use a lot is called giphy right here and you can search unlimited amounts of gifs that you can add to your library i mean they can be anything you can just say uh dog like like i had doggy so the stickers is probably what you want to go for because they're more transparent look at the carcass shaking his border so literally any of these you can just you know, right click, save the image somewhere on your computer. And then over here, if I want to change this, go to change media. And I can just uh, click on, I can either drag the file in here or upload it myself using this option right here. And then just select it and then um, bring it into this right here. I can also um, mess with the music as well. This is the just the default sound. So if I had a different sound effect that I wanted when the alert popped up, I can change that. I can Get, get any sound you want. It's up to It's a mirror creation. You're the creator. You get any sound you want and you upload it. Now, let's say you made these changes. You want to give it a little test. What you can do where this widget URL is right here, just select launch. That'll take you to another screen right here. It's just a green screen, you know, you know plain background because this is the URL you're going to use for the alert to come in for your stream. And then back on the Streamlabs website, you can do a test subscriber. And this thing will pop through. See, Midnight Man just subscribed. And this is how it would be if anybody else subscribes when you're on the channel. This is just a little test. You hear the sound. And if I'm happy with that, let's add it to my stream. So here in the Elgato software, this is just a plain screen. Didn't add any elements to this window yet. What I want to do to start things off is go to this plus add overlay over here. And then I want to select add website. And once I do that, I mean, we can just keep these sizes the same for right now, but we're gonna need a URL. And what could that be? Well, we gotta go back to the Streamlabs application. We're actually gonna copy this link. Now make sure nobody can get to this link. You wanna keep this hidden. Just copied it, and I'm gonna paste it in. And I blocked mine out just cause I don't want people to see the, uh, the alert message. I don't want people like tinkering with it or anything like that. So anyways, I'm gonna add the overlay. And then there you go. You're gonna have this little box right here. And now we can test it. So I'm going to end the editing. Now it looks like it's a plain screen, but we actually have a web element on there. And let's test the subscriber. If I go back, look at that. I got the subscriber alert right there. How cool is that? And this will happen automatic for every subscriber you'll get on YouTube. And same thing if you have it set up for Twitch as well. All right, so how about OBS? How would you do it there? It's actually very easy and very similar. In the OBS software, if you already have a scene created, 
you just want to press that plus button on the sources and then you're going to want to go to browser source you want to add this window okay and right on this line where you see URL, this is where you're going to want to paste in that Streamlabs link so you can get all the alerts to come through. Again, I'm going to block it out for security purposes. And then all you got to do is select OK. And then now let's go back again. Let's test this thing out. And look at that. It came through like a charm. No problem at all. So there you guys have it. It's actually a pretty easy process. I didn't even realize how easy it is to do. If you're doing these live streams, just add this little feature and it takes literally probably two minutes to set up at least the basic functionalities of it. And maybe you, know, you might have to take some time to add some special gifts to it or some special sound effects. You know, that might take a little, but it's all in the mind here. Be the creator and make something cool. If you guys have any questions at all related to this tutorial, let me know in the comments below. I'll be sure to get back to you because I love talking to you guys. And if there's other things that you don't know or you know related to trying to record gameplay or stream, also ask me that because maybe I could do even another video about it if, if necessary, if I can't answer it in a comment. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit it with a thumbs up, helps my channel out a ton. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, a lot of cool things to come. I like streaming some gameplay, doing some other tutorials, a vlog every now and then of something really cool. I don't do boring stuff, I swear. Besides that, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace!